nimbus um, is a, a religious meaning um, and also a kind of an artistic meaning. Hmm. Um, whenever you see a, a religious or a holy person in artwork and they have um, some sort of um, halo or uh, symbology associated with halo symbology about them, you know, a glow or an actual ring or something like that, that's a nimbus. Oh, interesting. So do you think that that relates to Harry? Is he a saintly figure in the wizarding world? Well, I mean, he's he's definitely kind of looked up to as a savior type mm-hmm. kind of character. He's going to mm-hmm. save the wizarding world from the dark, evil, he who shall not be named. Right. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's riding on the Nimbus. So that's kind of his symbol of of sainthood, almost of of being a, a holy person or a spiritual person or a, an idol. Well, and he's also um, what's the what's the name of his position when playing Quidditch? He's the seeker. He's the seeker, and the seeker. You know, if you get the snitch, you it's basically mm-hmm. game over, right? Yeah, basically. So he's also kind of the uh, one of the more important, or maybe the most important. Um, on on the Quidditch um, pitch, what's the name of is it, is the is it a field? Is it a pitch? Good question. I think it's a pitch. <laughs> a pitch? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Might be a field. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That that makes it very appropriate. Yeah. Basically, his job is to to end the game and win, and he, he almost always determines um, whether they win or not. He has the final say. Uh, in the outcome yeah. of the game, the outcome of life. 